All right, gang, looking over today's patch notes, man. This is uh, Modern Warfare 3 Season 6. Uh, multiplayer patch notes for Warzone. We only had one change. It was the crossbow. I didn't even want to cover it. Uh, it seems that they've kind of got that, like, under control for right now with Warzone. But multiplayer, there's a huge problem right now, and I hope they address it when we look over this. Uh, there's new shotguns. There were new shotguns that were added, and they're very broken. You can go Kimbo with it, and especially right now with a five-variant shipment rotation, shotguns are all over the place. I want to know if they're balancing the rest of the shotguns because I like the feel of a lot of the shotguns, especially from like MW2, um, that just weren't very sufficient in this game at all, like in MW3. So hopefully they address that. But I see starting off, we got the M13C. So it looks like we are going to be touching some MW2 guns today. I increased maximum damage range from 31 to 32. It's 3% increase. It says within its maximum uh, DR, let's see, M13C is now capable of a four shot kill if at least one bullet is a headshot considering how accurate this gun is and how fast of a fire rate it shoots that's really really solid like really solid m13c doubled up as my secondary and was in uh two on ashika island for like a very long time very solid mobility ads super fast super duper quick shot speed i mean god this thing has dumps bullets so i think that's a really solid buff to bring that back into the mix Ooh, we got shotguns. Uh, battle rifles, the DTRR 30-6. Uh, decreased lower torso damage multiplier from 1.3 to 1. Uh, we, we covered this two weeks ago about patch notes, how when you see like these decimal point multipliers like 0 0.3, 0 0.1, you know, people are like, oh, that's not going to do anything. That really does make a difference. It's a 0.3 to just a 1x on a battle rifle that can shoot as fast as the DTIR. We're talking about something that genuinely was more dominant than the DMR was ever in Warzone. You know, being dropped down to a 1.0, that makes a massive difference. And that really should balance this gun out to the point where it's not an issue anymore. It's probably still top of the food chain, but it's not a like, problem, you know? You, you know, you should be able to go up against that gun with any other gun, you know, kind of running in the meta standing and be fine but for a long time the dtir kind of reigned as king uh we got shotguns mw2 shotguns that's what i'm talking about bro kv broadside uh before i get into all of it it looks like it's all just increased uh near medium maximum damage range uh, multipliers i'm just gonna read the percentile because it really does say maximum damage near uh, medium damage uh kv broadside got a 22 percent increase and a 31 percent increase uh, for maximum and medium. Uh, Lockwood 300 got an 86% increase. This is big stuff. Expedite 12, 40%, 25%. Uh, Bryson 800, this thing always had so much potential. 24, 20, 23, 22. Oh, they covered everything. Bro, you could take that Bryson 800 and go into a shipment match and absolutely run the math. That is so disgusting. And the Bryson 890, the tactical version of it, uh, we go 24%, 25%. All of these shotguns should now be very, very good. Like, very good. We're seeing these small little increases, you know, 1.8 meters to 3.3, uh, you know, 2.5 to 3.6. These slight differences, right? These little distances, when you have increased maximum damage range, is the better possibility of getting one shot kills. That whenever you see increased maximum damage range, and multiplayer for a shotgun we are talking shotgun specifically the one shot probability goes through the roof so that is massive you got to think these are the gun stats like when you see this stat right here this is no attachments you throw range boosters on it like some damage range boosters this 3.6 right here easily turns into a 10 meter one shot kill and that is disgusting to think about especially when you're looking at a map that's only 35 meters long, you know? Unreal. So, yeah, definitely run MW2 shotguns right now if you want to absolutely run the map. Uh, the crossbow did get a change here as well. It got a buff because of the new compound bow. Uh, with the compound bow being so dominant, I, like, it's a sniper, basically. It's hit scan. You know, crossbows have never really been hit scanned. They, they, they have a, a pretty heavy delay. I mean, there's a pretty good arc on that bolt. Uh, but when we're going into this compound bow, that arrow's flying. So, of course, they're going to increase bolt velocity. They increased it by 81%. That is 
fast. So this actually should feel like hit scan uh, for a little bit further now. You know, a crossbow's hit scan probably up to 10 meters. Realistically, going from 110 to 200 meters per second, we're looking at hit scan up to like, I don't know, 18, maybe 20 meters. Like maybe. I mean, that's still really solid for a crossbow. Uh, decreased uh, bolt gravity influence by 70%. So now we're maybe even more. Now that we're talking less arc, there's there's less plane. So instead of you shooting that thing and having just this crazy fall off, now we're talking about a more you know straight plane uh, that the thing's going to be flying, which is huge. An increased neck damage multiplier from 1.2 to 3x, bro. Massive, massive. That is ridiculous. Uh, Bright Blaze 20 inch bolts remove and on site spring. Let's see. Blast cap 20 inch bolts removed and on site spread. Uh, F tac caustic 20 bolts. So I guess we're getting rid of that ADS site spread. That's fucking huge, man. Uh, the SAB 50, it got a big buff as well, man. Maximum damage range. Uh, medium damage range, 90 damage up to 44 meters. I mean, bro, they are really doing the damn thing. All MW2 handguns got a big overhaul as well. Every single one of them. This is this is every MW2 handgun. Uh, let's see. Wait, the Basilisk is now capable of a one-shot kill to the head up to its medium damage range. What's its medium damage range? 33 meters? A one this pistol is a one shot kill at 33 meters. That's disgusting. That's huge. Basically, it looks like what this update is this overall, all these M dub two guns, they're catching them up to speed to M dub three guns, and they're going to try to make level playing with BO6's guns all coming up soon, man. That's gonna be such a cluster. We are 21 days away uh from release, man, which is super exciting, but god dude. I mean, this is massive. The multiplayer just got like a massive overhaul. If you haven't tried it out, man, get in there. Let me know what you think. Hit me in the comments. Try to get back with you as fast as I can. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content, man. Hit that sub, press the like. Catch you more for another Heat Seeker. Let's get it.